Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited because today I'm filming the battle of the formulas. <laughs> no, I don't know about that, but I am. I'm putting it to the test. Which one is better? Is the hourglass scattered light eyeshadow better or is the Chanel Illusion de Ombre eyeshadow better? We're going to put them to the test, kind of give you my thoughts. Like always, these are just my humble opinions <laughs> for the formulas themselves. And at the end, I'll share with you which one I prefer. Before we get started, I really want to just thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so excited that you guys are here. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe below. If you have, thank you so much. And I'm so glad you're back. All right. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Chanel Illusion de Ombre Eyeshadow. This is in the shade New Moon. It's number 97. You get 4 grams of product or 0.14 ounces of product. It retails for $36. You can get it at Nordstrom. You can get it also on the Chanel website. So that's about $9 a gram, the Chanel eyeshadow. The other eyeshadow we're going to talk about today is the Hourglass eyeshadow. So this is the Scattered Light Glitter eyeshadow. This is in the shade Smoke. The eyeshadow is $29. It retails for $29 and it can be found at Sephora and of course Hourglass. It is 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces and it's about $8.26 a gram US. Right off the bat, you're getting more product in this one, but price per ounce is more economical in, with the hourglass, but they're both still expensive. Let's just, I mean, call a spade a spade. They're both expensive products. So let's get into the actual swatches and what that looks like, as well as the formulas themselves. So here are the swatches. This one appears the Chanel in New Moon. This one is the Smoke in the Hourglass shade. Now, I don't really want to speak to the actual shades themselves just because I really want to talk about the formula and what it looks like. If you can tell, this Smoke shade from Hourglass is very shiny, extremely shiny, almost more of a shimmer in a way, right? Whereas this one really reflects the glitter pigments in here. So it seems as though the Chanel has a lot more glittery substance to it, but I will say both of them are very mature looking. I like the Chanel because it is a very mature glitter, especially on the eyes. Let's get into what they look like on the eyes. I use my finger to apply both of these shades. I will say though, when you put your fingers in the pot, it's a lot easier to go in with this particular Chanel pot than the Hourglass pot, just because the diameter of the pot is actually bigger and you can get a little bit more product out without wasting it on as compared to the Hourglass. So here are the swatches on my fingers. This one here is Chanel. This one is Hourglass and you can kind of tell the difference between the finishes. They are slightly different. Let's go in with Chanel on this side and we'll go in with Hourglass on this side. So, this is Chanel. What I like about the Chanel formula, when you put your finger into the pot, it is really like a putty consistency. Look how easy that glided on the lid. It was super, super easy. It was not, no fallout. And I was able to really apply the product specifically on the eye, specific to where I want it to go on the eye. Whereas, let's put the other one on. This is the Hourglass and Smoke. So this is Hourglass and Smoke. Now keep in mind they are different in shade, but this Hourglass Smoke shade and formula is a bit grittier. Not bad grittier, but it is a bit grittier. It's not as smooth in texture. Whereas this one just, it feels good on the lids. This one feels more like almost a pressed shadow, a pressed eyeshadow that looks really beautiful, but it is a little bit, the texture is a little bit different. I will say that on the lid, I feel like this one looks a little bit more light reflective and just the glitter pigments show more. They're both very, very wearable glitters. 
they are something you could wear every day if you wanted to. I do find that this one is also very buildable and the other one is as well but this one seems to layer well on top of one another hence the formula and how just kind of putty like it is. Let me show you here. Like if I put my finger in it, it's just super putty like. Whereas this one, here we go. If I put my finger in it, it kind of crumbles. Some. It's not as putty like. It's really a matter of preference in a lot of ways. I prefer the Chanel. I think that Ch Chanel has a beautiful texture. I love the feeling of it on the lid. It's easy to apply. And it's something that I reach for and want to go for. I love the actual way it looks on the eye. I think it just makes them pop a little bit more. But the hourglass is also beautiful. You notice that it scatters a little bit more on the eyelid, whereas this one is more concentrated. The formula isn't spreading as much. This one seems to kind of spread a little bit more. And I prefer to be, have a little bit more control. So that's why I like the Chanel a tad bit better. Now, overall, there's... They're both beautiful. They're both really, really pretty. I personally would buy another shade of the Chanel formula rather than the Hourglass formula. That's just my honest opinion and what I think about the formulas themselves. They wear really well. I think the Chanel actually wears a little bit longer. Overall, they're really tight in the race, but the Chanel wins for a couple of good reasons. One, the packaging. Two, the formula, the texture, the smoothness, the richness of the actual shadow itself. I just prefer the way it looks on the eye a lot better. I like to be, have control over the actual shadow and I just, I just really like it. I'm going to finish up. I'm going to take one of these off and get the same shadow on and I bet you can guess which one it is. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the final look. What do you think? I just put on my Chanel, I guess y'all know by now, the Chanel one. <laughs> I just really like it. I love the formula. The texture is so, so good. It's not too much of a mousse. It's not too much of a cream. It's not too dry. It's almost in this putty consistency that just really sticks together well, but it also spreads evenly and allows you to have more of control while applying it. It doesn't fall. There's no fallout or anything like that. Compared to the hourglass, however, the hourglass is a little bit on the drier side. It's a little bit more difficult to work with when you're trying to just slap it on, in all honesty. And you don't have as a precise of an application, especially when you're using your fingers as I do with these particular products. But, you know, that's just my opinion and those are just the things that I have found by using these particular products. Which ones have you tried and which one's better? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified from the latest and greatest videos from me. And yeah, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye y'all.